In this video, we're going to see what happens when we test some Boss War Chief Bismuth against some Kent Fast Steel 2.0. George here with the New Hunter's Guide, and today I want to do a head-to-head -head test of two different ammunitions that I've used in several videos in the past. We've got the Boss War Chief Copper Plated Bismuth. This is their buffered load, number fours, against some Kent Fast Steel 2.0 Zinc Plated Steel, also number fours. Now, I bought all the ammunition we're going to use in this video with my own money, though Boss has given me ammo in the past. One of my goals here is I want to see what kind of pattern difference and ballistics gel performance difference you see between the bismuth and the steel. Is it worth spending extra money to upgrade to bismuth or saving money to go with steel, however you want to slice it? Let's take a look at the specs on both of these loads. First up, we see the bismuth ammunition, 1,350 feet per second, one and a half ounce payload, 210 pellets of number fours with 42.2 pounds of recoil. The steel ammo goes a little faster, 1,500 feet per second, a little less payload, one and a quarter ounce, but 240 pellets. So while not perfectly apples to apples, these are two real loads that I think people use for shooting the same ducks. Now for choke tubes, we're going to use an Indian Creek Black Diamond Triumph passing choke tube. I think this is the long range choke tube that Indian Creek makes for waterfowl hunting. This choke tube was paid for by a viewer who actually sent me a different Indian Creek choke that I had just purchased for myself. So with their permission, I sent it back to get one that I didn't already have. Thank you very much. And we're going to pattern test and ballistics gel test this ammunition at 40 yards. But your ammo choice doesn't make that big of a difference unless you can find birds to hunt. And that's where Trophy Tracks comes in, the sponsor of this video. Trophy Tracks is a hunting journey app with predictive modeling capabilities. It can become the central location where you store all of your hunting data. So anytime you see a duck, hear a duck, harvest a duck, you can enter that information where and when it happened into trophy tracks and it'll pull in other information automatically like wind speed, cloud cover, temperature. It'll use its data with yours to develop predictive models for when you are more likely to see ducks in the areas that you actually hunt. And the more you use trophy tracks, the more seasons that you use it, the more accurate that modeling will become. Maybe more exciting than that, you can use Trophy Tracks for free. And I don't just mean a free two-week trial. And it works for hunting deer, turkey, elk, upland game, and more. It's available for Apple and Android. Just go wherever you download apps, search for Trophy Tracks, download it today for free, and start using it. Thank you, Trophy Tracks. All right, let's head down to the range and get this test started. I am down at the range and I've got the Indian Creek Triumph passing choke loaded up. We're going to take our first shot here with the Boss Bismuth number fours. And next up, we've got our Kent Fast Steel 2.0 number fours. Let's go take a look at these targets. I have both of these targets laid out here, and I have drawn a 30-inch-ish circle over the densest part of the core pattern for each. Keep in mind, this is not a laboratory. This is not an exact science. I'm using a string taped to a pen. And if I do a little bit of this or a little bit of that, it may change the size of the circle. I do then go ahead and measure the circle and adjust my counting to try to make it as fair as possible. Let's go ahead and take a look. Up first, we've got the Boss Bismuth. Really nice pattern here. Good distribution on the pattern. Very nice. Then we've got the Kent Fast Steel. Good pattern here as well. Nice and tight. Also good distribution. So which one of these two is better? Well, it is pretty close. They are both very nice patterns. I'm gonna count all of these pellets to try to make it as fair and precise as possible. But guys, keep in mind, this may not be perfect. I'm gonna get that data to you in a chart at the end, but first let's move on to the ballistics gel test. I have the ballistics gel set up at 40 yards. We've got the bismuth number fours up first. What's really nice here is one's copper plated and one's zinc plated. So we can just take both shots into the same side of the gel, one right after another. All right, let's go take a look. I have the ballistics gel here. Now there were not that many pellets in the gel, so I fired another shot off camera with each load so that we would have healthier averages. Let's go ahead and take a look. They're both from left to right. 
And to me, it looks like the bismuth is clearly ahead of the steel load. Now the question is, how far ahead of the steel load is the bismuth? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna measure a sample of pellets from both loads to try to answer that question. Keep in mind, measuring pellets in ballistics gel is difficult, especially the closer they are to the middle of the block. And there's rounding involved. I'm sure the results are never perfect. So we're looking at this in order to get a relative sense of the difference. Don't look at it like this is the final last word. I'm gonna get that data for you guys in a chart momentarily. Okay, I've got all the numbers crunched and all the data ready. I really like doing test videos like this. Let me know if you like them too in the comments down below. Also, a good time to hit that thumbs up button or subscribe if you need to. Now let's jump in and look at the data. We can see that the Boss War Chief Bismuth load, 160 pellets in a 30 inch circle at 40 yards. The Kent Fast Steel 2.0, 175 pellets in the circle. So the steel actually comes out ahead 9% more pellets. Now the steel has more pellets in the load. You can see the bismuth actually has a slightly higher pattern efficiency number, but more pellets in the shell did equate to more pellets in the paper. So the question is, how many pellets do you need to take a duck? Well, I like to see 100 pellets in the circle, so both of these loads are well beyond my personal minimums. Now let's look at the ballistics gel numbers. You can see the Ward Chief bismuth 3.92 inches of penetration and the steel 2.75 inches of penetration. So the boss comes out ahead 43% more than the Kent Fast Steel number fours. That's a lot more, significantly more. Now, how much ballistics gel penetration do you want to see? I like to see three inches of penetration for duck hunting. So the Kent Fast Steel, this particular shot anyway, was just under that. So what's the final analysis? Is the steel just as good as the bismuth? Well, at 30 yards and under, it may be just as good. At that range, I think there would be enough ballistics gel penetration for me to feel comfortable using it for duck hunting. However, at longer range, the bismuth has a clear advantage, far more penetration. So the bismuth is gonna be the better long range load. Another question that you may have is, are three inch bismuth shells worth it or are two and three quarter inches enough? And I did a whole video on that subject that you can find right here. Thank you so much for watching. God bless you and go get them in the woods.